What's up guys, Josh here, and today we're gonna have a look at an After Effects tutorial which shows you how to hide text behind objects. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open After Effects, of course, and put your clip here, and click on that clip, press Control D, that's gonna duplicate your clip, and then double click on that top one. Okay, so now you have a layer tab up here, we're kind of soloed out into what exactly we're looking at. You can press G or you can click this pen tool up here. I'm going to press G and then kind of outline whatever it is that you want to hide the text behind. So in this case we want to hide the text behind this coffee mug. Just a rough outline. You can go back and correct it later. So let's expand this out. There's a mask. So let's expand that out. That's the mask we just drew. You can right click, click track mask going to open up this tracker pane over here. Let's click that play button. Okay, So it should begin to track whatever it is you drew the mask around. This will work for most anything unless it's out of focus or there's too many of something like tree branches, something like that. Okay, So she's having a sip of the coffee. It's in slow motion. So she's bringing the mug back down. It's, it's probably not going to track. So it, it didn't track on the way back down. That, that's okay though. So you can see we have this orange square highlighted. If you double click, I have the whole mask highlighted. Now you can move it down a little bit here, kind of readjust it. So you saw me pause that by unclicking this play button to, to stop the tracking. So now we've moved it and then we can kind of uh, click off of it for a second and then come back up and you can just click on one and hold and then drag it. Okay, so let's click play again. We begin to track back down. This mask is a little too fluffy. Um, the bottom is, is a little bit fluffy. Just kind of adjust it a little bit. Well, it looks good to me. Let's keep tracking it. So now it's super fluffy at the bottom. Let's kind of adjust that. Okay keep tracking it and she sets the mug down that took forever okay stop tracking now we want to let's uh, let's put some text but first you have to get out of this layer view or you can't see what's happening you can only see your mask that you drew so exit out up here so now you're looking at your composition which is everything and then we want to add some text. So click off of whatever it is you're clicked on. Come up here to the T or Control T. Add some text. We want it to say morning coffee. Highlight it. Control A to highlight it. Let's make it a little bit pink. That works for me. Click off of it. Click back on it. I don't know why it does this. And then you can press Control and then press shift after that to keep your ratio so it doesn't get all weird. Keep holding control, kind of just drag it here. Okay, so the trick here is, the whole trick is to just drag the text between the two clips. So you have the one with the mask here, and you have the one that's just a plain clip. Now you can see that morning coffee is now behind the mug. Do it here. She picks it up, reveals morning coffee. So if you want to correct the mask, you can see it starts to blotch out the coffee there. What you can do is come into the layer, which has the mask here, expand that out, and press V. Get your selection tool, kind of click off so they turn into circles. And then come up here, kind of readjust everything. Just wherever it is that you don't like the mask and just kind of readjust it a little bit. Okay, so you can right click here and then click track mask again, or you can come over here to tracker and click this play button and it should begin tracking. Now it's just going to overlap the old ones, it's just going to erase the old ones. So I'm going to pause it because it's getting a little bit fluffy there. I don't like it. Okay, let's track it some more. You can fix some of the fluff with mask options that I will show you in a second. So, um, come on CPU, let's do this. Great, okay, I think that that, that 
is enough. So if you don't want to do that every time and you just have a little bit of extra space here, you want to reduce it, come over here and you can expand this, this mask down. I already had it open. And then you can come to expansion so you can expand it past the outline that you drew or you can go negative and bring it, bring it in some. So that kind of helps you avoid having to redraw every frame. And then let's come over here to uh, mask feather. You can kind of add a little bit more of how loose you want the, to, the mask to be. Let's bring it down. That looks pretty good. Adds that kind of 3D effect with that with that feather. Great. Just fix it up. That's pretty much it. That's how you track 3D text. So um, if you want to add a more 3D effect to it, you can duplicate your text. So click on your text layer, press Control D. Make sure to add 3D by checking these two boxes. This cube means make it 3D, and then you get this X. Uh, X, Y, Z axis going here. Uh, let's change this top one to be black. And then let's flip flop the order because I'm dumb. So we want the, the black to be below it, right? Because it's the shadow. That's what we're going to make. And so then you can just kind of uh, press V, kind of offset it a little bit. Now we have some 3D morning coffee text. Flips up, reveals morning coffee, sets it back down. Off she goes. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. I, I appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.